We're running! Hello and welcome to this week's edition of the latest in hobby robotics. My name is Fritz Lüneball. I am sitting in my Denmark, in my Denmark, yeah, in my. I said this so many times. I'm <laughs> I'm sitting in my workshop in Denmark, and this is Andrew, my friend, and Andrew is back this week. Um, Andrew and I. Hi. Yes, hi, Andrew. Andrew and I. We talked about the uh, design of uh, homemade robots. Andrew, hit it. This one was made by our, our dear friend Chris the Carpenter. Yes. Uh, and uh, Chris, Chris is Chris hey, hang on, hang on. I, I have to interrupt you because Chris <laughs> Chris how old how, how he's been on the site for like three years or something. Yeah. And uh, and he's uh, been making how many robots before this? Oh I don't I don't know, so many. He's he's done he's, a, he's done, well you know what? Oh wait. He's 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 very active, but he's only made like one robot. It's an amazing robot. But that he, guy's he, been working <laughs> on the same robot for three years, but now he released something new. Sorry, yeah. hit it, go. Yes, what did he do? Yeah, finally a new robot for Chris. Yes, exactly. Uh, but uh, so he made a a steampunk robot, and uh, he he said, uh, you know, he said it happened by accident. He just pulled it together, and there's nothing. Here's the point. It, there's nothing uh, innovative technically about the robot. It's just a sort of standard little robot with a couple of wheels that can drive around. But the look of it is amazing. He's got polished wood and he is a carpenter uh, professionally. And he's got, you know, he, he cut, hand cut all the metal and soldered and welded it together. All of the wire is run through beautiful little brass fittings. And, uh, you know, the whole thing, you know, you can see exposed linkages. It's, uh, it's a beautiful design that um, that is an example of the steampunk aesthetic. And if you don't know what steampunk is, I don't want to have to teach you, but it, it's basically a, uh, an idea, a, a design idea or a genre uh, of, you know, imagine that Victorian era England um, pre-industrial or just beginning of the industrial era and that uh, technology like steam power and, and gears and mechanics um, became the dominant technology instead of electronics and computers and that sort of gives you an idea but you know things aren't things weren't just made to look to be functional they were made to look be functional but also to look beautiful hang on <clears throat> okay, I don't know if you guys noticed there was just a glitch there. If this was the Matrix, this would have been uh, like uh, 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 because someone agents are swarming the building right now. Something like that. What is in fact happening is something close to that. Uh, it's Microsoft. They've been taking over Skype, and uh, Andrew and I we've been talking a lot about that because ever since Microsoft took over Skype, there's been problems with that piece of crap so now we are uh, we just spent half an hour uh, messing around and now we are on uh, Google uh, let's see how that yeah. stuff works yeah, yes Google. well ladies and gentlemen here is the little steampunk bot that I made that's one very fine robot uh, Chris congratulations on that your second robot Andrew what else have you got for me so uh, robot 2 by Axbury is uh, is a robot that uh, it's just, again, uh, you know, beautifully designed. It's got uh, acrylic uh, metalwork, and it's got uh, LED lights integrated in through tubes. It's just a beautiful piece of work. Everything, um, he's got, you know, rubber tubing integrated into the thing, and pressure, the, the bumper sensor is a, uh, like a, a pressure sensor uh with uh, wires wrapped around the tube, spiral wrapped around the tube. Everything about the robot was just uh, designed with the visible results uh, in mind. It's really good looking, definitely. The next one is uh, is by my good friend Anthony Ant, isn't it? Uh, Snailbot? Yeah, so here's another, again, just a cool look to this robot. It's uh, It's got some uh, tank treads integrated in, but instead of sort of a normal tank configuration or uh, something uh, conservative like that, he's got he's got the treads routed in, in four different bands around the robot, and it goes over the whole body of the robot. It sort of looks like a big giant rolling uh, 
rolling can. And uh, I'm not sure even technically the robot worked out that well. I think he scrapped it eventually. But the, the look of it, again, is, is what makes it cool. I just have to mention another robot he did. We're going to look... I'll show a picture of that here. Um, this is just what he did, uh, Anthony. He, he took uh, a standard uh, ultrasound uh, sensor and uh, instead of just uh, mounting it as you're supposed to, he actually took apart the uh, the two ultra uh, sound uh, little tiny metal cups and he's uh, using them as eyes and it's looking really good and he's telling me that it's actually working. It's a rather old project but I just love it. I remember him for, for that always. Yes, what else have you got for me, Andrew? Okay, I have a robot by uh, Mr. Kiss. Uh, it's uh, his pet toy bot. And um, it's not what you might think. It's uh, it's not a robot designed to be a pet. He designed a robot to play with his pet cat. Ah. And uh, But what's really cool about it is, again, the, the look. It's this beautifully do polished uh, dome, uh, yellow dome. And it just you know has a friendly... Uh, rounded shapes, and you know the whole mechanism of the robot is hidden. It's it's inside this uh, this smooth dome, and I know from reading uh, some blogs about how he created it that it took him a lot of time to sand it smooth and get the surface looking like that. Uh, so it's good looking, uh, definitely. Cool, it, yeah, it's a cool bot and a cool concept too. Again, uh, the idea of uh, a robot made just to play with your pet is is just a, a kind of a cool idea. Well, Andrew. Um, we had some problems with Skype today, we spent way too much time doing this, but uh, still, you guys out there, I hope uh, uh, I hope to see some good links in the, in the comments box from you uh, with some good uh, designs, some nice design robots. And I think we'll have an exciting theme for you next week. I'll see you there. Yep, if you're an arty or a techie. You can get into robots. Enjoy. You can. <laughs> cheers. Have a good one. I'm sorry for this show. It was a mess, but uh, <laughs> cheers.